speak to me, you know, guide me. He was there about to do something I did not believe. And then when I was just about to react, he just covered my mouth. And um, when he covered my mouth, it was just like, Usola, listen to me and you'll be fine. Just do what I want you to do. Well, still on the issue of Pastor Fatou Ibo Abiodu and Usola Dakolo, the, the rape alleged from Bukola Dakolo to Pastor Fatou Ibo. Now, I have been with me uh, a citizen. So, sir, I'm very sure you've been hearing about this issue, sir. And first, let, me, let the world know your name, sir. My name is Gabriel Steven Uluwabusayo. Wow, nice to meet you, sir. So concerning the issue, what do you say to it? Concerning the issue of Pastor Pato Ibu and Busola Dapulo, I think it's intimidation. Why? The reason why I said this is that there is something we talked about, we call coordination. Coordination. Sex by coordination simply means a sex that was not being willing to do but later accepted. Mm. In the sense that I believe we are all men here. Yeah? In one way or the other, we have been involved in self fascination. That a lady we came looking for us, he will tell us he's not interested, he's not in the mood. At the end of the time, maybe by touching one or two places, we put her in the mood and she gets involved and it happens. That's what we call self fascination. And self fascination can be also termed as a rape. Because anything that is not come from a lady's mind is called a rift. But later she accepted. And back to what we are saying here, I don't think that Busola is really making sense. What I say is that if we look at this issue, he's not being contradicted. The husband said he met her as a virgin. And she herself said she was being raped at the age of 17. So which one are we sorry, going? 16. 16, sorry. Which one are we going to accept? Is it the rape at the age of 16? Or is it the one meeting her as a virgin? What I feel, I'm not so a now, fan. So, so now you're, you're supporting Pastor Fato Ibu? I'm not supporting fa oh, Pastor Fato Ibu. Wrong in the I'm not supporting both Busola because I'm not their fan. But what I'm just trying to say that for everyone saying one or two things, should be careful and watch what they say. And there is one thing with our country, we believe that when you are a, celebra uh, a celebrity, celebrity. When people watch and look at you on media every day and night, there, anything can come up. It has happened to, I believe this happened to the same Pastor Fato Ibo some years ago. Yeah. And the same lady came out again and let her say it was not it. Of course. So for her to say it was not it, it means something is going on. According to what somebody said, I heard, this is a fight against Christianity religion. Because many, let's check our opposite job. Many things like this is happening, but it's very difficult for us to hear it on press on, on Twitter media. But the love is no longer there. The sharing is no longer there. The tolerance is no longer there. We just want to punish ourselves. And this thing we are doing, it's as bad in the future. So what I'm trying to say, because I heard the case is, on, is in court, and there is no yet proof, uh, Timmy Dakolo saying Pastor Pato Ibo is not his pastor, is not the one that changed, that joined their wedding. But I remember last year in their press concert, their, their, their convention they normally did, Timmy Dakolo was there saying oh, that, no. that, no. that that there is no body like his father in the Lord, which pastor, is Pastor Pato Ibo. But when issues like this uh, happen, we heard of many things happening. Yeah. So what I'm trying to say is that let us look through this issue very well and know what and do what is right and do what is supposed to without not just saying anything. Well, thank you very much for having you. We really appreciate your contribution to this issue. Thank you very, very much, much sir. happy to have you, yes sir. Yes sir. Thanks very much. Yes sir. All right to the viewers. Thanks for watching. We love you. Thanks sir. I didn't struggle. I didn't struggle. I just um, left him. And um, he brought out his pennies and I was wearing a nice gown. I was wearing pants, pulled down my pants and that was how he, he found difficulty to enter. But he just kept, I was like grunting, I would cry, I would, I was just doing a whole lot of mixed 
feelings and all that and then he eventually penetrated even blood dropped on the floor and um, at that point he he finished what he wanted to do he had an orgasm and he zipped up he left me there I just sat on the floor and he went out so when he went out sorry just hold on a minute so take your time take your time take your time <sighs> because the thing this particular time as it looks like um, something that just happened like an event but a whole lot are damaged within me as more truth unveil as regards Bisola's video on how she was raped by Koza pastor, Biodun Fatoimbo, Timidakolo's wife has received support from some celebrities like Choma Aputa Akanani, while Wale Jenner disagrees, calls her a liar and a fabricator of conspiracy. Now we know why Timidakolo.